I'm Lisa Mascaro. I'm the Chief Congressional Correspondent for the Associated Press. We are days away from a possible federal government shutdown. This isn't the first time the nation would be in a federal government shutdown. Shutdowns happen when Congress fails to pass its annual spending bills. A shutdown would clip all sorts of federal government services, programs that many Americans depend on. Of course, uh, Social Security checks are still expected to go out, and other programs are still expected to be running somewhat. However, government employees, millions of employees, not just here in Washington, D.C., but across the nation, uh, would be told to stay home. So ordinary Americans could see all sorts of closures uh, if the federal government shuts down. Of course, the national parks always shut down, but there's other things that Americans might not see perhaps food uh, safety inspectors or work being done at national labs and sciences to improve health care and of course at the airports. There's uh, always concern that the airports will see uh, worker shortages and staff shortages and that could impact travel for millions of Americans and of course passports if folks are trying to uh, receive a new passport to uh, travel that also would uh, potentially face shutdowns. So there's lots of uh, seen and unseen ways that a disruption in the federal government could ripple across uh, the U.S. economy and ripple across the lives of ordinary Americans. Of course, the nation's military continues on and the border uh, patrol and security, but those, uh, uh, those troops and those officers are not being paid during a shutdown. So that would be another impact that would hit, uh, hit the lives of Americans that do this work for the country. The federal shutdowns uh, date back decades. Um, People might remember um, former Speaker Newt Gingrich and the shutdowns that were uh, happening in, in that era. They often come from the right flank, uh, the Republican side, that are pushing their spending cuts. Democrats on the other side tend to want to keep government funded, and some would say, you know, want to fund it too much. And this is the divide and the great debate in the U.S. over what is the proper size and scope of the federal government, how much it should be funded, and uh, where where all that money should go across the uh, different departments in the government.